name's Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to make something look grungy in Illustrator. Um, so there's a couple of ways of doing this, but I'm going to show you the way to do it with paintbrushes, um, because the paintbrushes are quite cool in Illustrator. Um, and the first thing you're going to do is, what I've done here is just filled in, I've drawn a large uh, rectangle just to fill up the space. Um, to give you know the palette, a I mean the, the canvas a color, and then you can, if you want to, you can add a new layer. I I would just draw it on the same layer because you're gonna use effects later, and it'll make it look cooler and more grungy if you actually use um, one layer. So I'm actually gonna just delete this layer right here, and. And right here, I have a series of just art, artistic paintbrushes that come with um, Illustrator, but you can go to this little fun option. You just go to brushes, and then on the right-hand corner, you can scroll all the way down to open brush library, and then you can select all sorts of cool different brushes, but the one I'm going to use is called the Grunge Brushes Vector Pack, and this comes with Illustrator. Um, and then you can pick a color, whichever you want. I'm going to choose something kind of gross and, oops. OK, so what actually just happened here, and this is kind of important, make sure that when you select a color, nothing else is selected, because otherwise it'll change the color of your shape. So I'm going to do that again. Get some green going in there. And get the paintbrush tool. And the paintbrush tool is an interesting little feature because it has the option of making cool lines and being nice and sharp and kind of vectory, and that's really what I enjoy about the paintbrush tool the most, which is why I'm showing you this grunge effect with it. Um, and I'm going to choose another color. Let's try something kind of darker. And, you know, this already is starting to look pretty dirty, but um, you you can add all sorts of colors. I'm going to add a couple of different ones just for the sake of being grungy. Um, let me just add one more little color there. OK, so I've got my grungy picture so far. And we're not done yet. So what we're going to do now is we're going to select everything. We're going to go to Effect. And there's a, a lot of effects that you can mess around with. Um, and I'm going to choose paint daubs because of the effect in the end that it, that it has. And depending on how big your picture is, it'll, it might take a little bit longer for this. And just remember, being patient is always the key to this. And just waiting, and then you'll get what you're looking for. And so that's what's happening right now. It's just taking a second because it's big. And then it should turn out grungy and kind of, it's got this cool little white background effect to it. Um, and if you're not interested in that kind of thing, you can, like I said, you can mess around with all the different effects. Um, I'll just show you one more. Um, let's try, I'm going to try rough pastels because it has a kind of a, a smeary kind of look to it. So let's see how that turns out. And now it's uh, taking a second. And there you go. And there's your kind of grungier looking piece. And that is how you can make something look grungy in Illustrator. My name is Alex Cecilio, and thank you very much.